In this video, we're going to set up a certificate generator using the Google Sheet add-on Autocrat. Now, I want you to focus on the setup of Autocrat and not have to worry about creating a form or creating your certificate. So I'm going to encourage you to go ahead and make copies of the documents that I provided. So you'll be able to make a copy of this certificate here. And then also you get a copy of this form. Those things are all ready to go. We'll just worry about uh, setting up and configuring Autocrat. The first thing we're going to do is um, go to your form, click on responses, and open up the spreadsheet that's associated with that form. So you're going to click on that green uh, square in the right corner. That will take you to something that should look like this. And we need to go ahead and install Autocrat into your Google Sheet. If you've not used Autocrat before, you'll need to do this. So we're going to click on Add-ons up at the top and go down to Get Add-ons. Um, and this is the add-on store. We'll go ahead and search for Autocrat and uh, install it. You'll have to ask, uh, answer a couple of questions, configure it to uh, connect to your Google account, but that's what we're looking for. So go ahead and do that. And now we'll have uh, the ability to access Autocrat from the add-on menu. And uh, so go ahead and open up Autocrat. It'll take a second to load. Uh, sometimes Autocrat can be a little slow, but it should work eventually. Be patient. Uh, you'll need to uh, click in the bottom right corner, say new job, and give it a name. I just called mine certificate or participation. So it's important to uh, realize that you can set up multiple Autocrat jobs. You may have a, a form or a sheet that generates different things, and you can have multiple jobs uh, set up. I'm going to go ahead and edit this, and this will get me to the same spot that uh, you are right now. So we're going to name our job. And now we're going to choose our template. So Autocrat is going to take data from your spreadsheet and place it into a Google document, or it can also work with Google Slides, although I've had some trouble getting that to work effectively. Hopefully you've made a copy of my certificate. So you're going to go ahead and click from drive and locate that certificate. So you can see I've got mine right here. So go ahead and select that and that will pull in the merge tag. So let's take a minute and uh, look at that certificate one more time. So you'll notice that um, I've got some uh, visual elements, uh, images and text, but this right here is the important part. This is called a merge tag. So what we do is we put two brackets and then this right here, it says first name, is going to match the first name column in our spreadsheet. And so what Autocrat is doing is it's saying, hey, I looked in your document and I found this merge tag. What column do I need to match that to? Now, if it's an exact match, it'll go ahead and do it for you. So first name uh, was correct. But you'll notice here where it says club, that was not an exact match. And so I'll have to go in and say, OK, I want to connect that to this column in my spreadsheet. Same thing with date. I wrote certificate date in the form, which is how it shows up in the spreadsheet. So I need to match those up. So you'll need to, again, match your columns to your merge tags and uh, you may not use them all there may be data that you collect in the form that you don't want to merge into the the document and that's fine over on the left you can um, change the type of merge tag that uh, it is most of the time i use standard if the merge tag is a link, you can change it to hyperlink. That way it will be clickable. And then you can also use image if uh, you'd like. That one gets a little tricky, so we're going to leave that for a later time. So that's the first step, connecting the merge tags of the document to the sheet. And go ahead and click on Next. And now we're going to specify how we want the documents that are created to be named. And so you can see I have uh, named it Certificate of Participation. But the neat thing is that you can use the merge tags in the file name as well. So documents are made called Certificate of Participation and then John Sowash or whatever uh, you specify here. This blue um, arrow on the left, if you click on that, will reveal the merge tags that are available in your document. And if I click on them, it uh, puts it 
on the clipboard so that I can then um, paste it into the file name. That just is uh, designed to make it easier for you. So essentially, you can create a dynamic file name based on the data that you've collected as well. We can also determine what type of document is created. We're going to go ahead and create a Google Doc um, in this instance. You can also just do a PDF. And then um, AutoCRAD has two output modes. So um, multiple output mode will create a separate document for each form submission. So basically every row in your spreadsheet becomes a new document. But you can also do single output mode, which will just take everything that's submitted and put it into one document. Um, I have used that. That is helpful if, um, for example, maybe your students are um, writing a long form response in a form and you don't want to read that in the spreadsheet so you could uh, create a document that puts all of their responses into one document but the vast majority of the time i'm using the multiple output mode let's go to the next page you need to um, specify where you want the certificates placed. So this is which folder in Google Drive uh, do you want them to go. I recommend that you create a folder just called certificates or something like that, as I've done. Now this uh, next step, number six, I have not used this. Um, essentially what you can do here is you can dynamically place certificates into a folder based on information that you've collected. Um, so for example, if you know the last name starts with the letter A, put it in this folder. If the last name starts with B, put it in that folder. I've never had a need to do that, but that's what this dynamic folder is. Um, we'll skip that for now. Um, merge condition is very helpful. So this uh, can is uh, what you will do if you have multiple merge jobs. So for example, if you had uh, five certificates, um, you could go in and create five different certificate templates and the right certificate would be used based on data that you've collected. So for example, if someone selects the yacht club um, in the form, then the yacht club certificate would be generated. So if you wanted to do this, you would say add condition and we would go down to club and if it equals yacht then it will merge if it does not equal yacht then it would uh, skip it and go to the next one i do use this uh, feature on occasion um, for this example we're going to leave that blank just to keep it simple um, but that's uh, a helpful tool the final uh, step is um, to decide if you want to automatically send these certificates to the person that uh, has requested them. So if we say share doc, I'm going to say yes. Now you can share the actual Google document or in this case because it's a um, certificate, I'm going to just send them a PDF. Um, there's some, you know other options there that you can look at. Um, and then down below, you have um, a spot where you can create an email uh, message that is sent to them. Now, this is where, again, we need to use the merge tag. So I'm going to click on the uh, blue arrow and go down to email address. And I'm going to put that in the to field. So it's going to look for their email address there. And then you'll notice um, for my subject, I'm using their club. So it'll say Yacht Club Certificate of Membership as the subject. And then in the greeting, I'm also using their first name. So it's customized. Thanks for joining the, and then this is again is the merge tag and so on. So this is going to uh, be sent to them as you see right there, which is great. Again, this is all automated. You don't have to do a thing once you've uh, got this set up. Let's go to the next step, and uh, this is where you can determine how you want AutoCRAT to run. So one option is to have it automatically triggered every time the form is submitted, and that's what I've elected to do, so I'm going to say yes. If you don't need these to be sent immediately, you may want to use a um, time trigger. So basically, you can tell it to automatically run every morning at 8 a.m. or something like that. That would be an interesting way to do you know, like absences or something like that, where it collects everything and then sends it out all at one time. If you turn both of these off, you can also just run it manually whenever uh, you need to. I'm going to leave the form trigger on. 
And uh, that's it. That's uh, all of the steps. So we'll go ahead and save that. And now Autocrat is ready to go. So you can test this. Just go back to your form, fill out uh, the form with your own information. And in probably two to three minutes, you should receive an email with your attached certificate.